the emperor and the strategic arthropod that chooses what toxic compound to inject to get the job done. Welcome back to the Metamorphosis Tarot Project, where we blend bug science and art. The emperor represents a strong figure who has conquered his domain not through brute force, but through strategy and intellect. He's a chess player, while these other clowns are out here playing checkers. Traditionally, he's represented cloaked in red, a symbol of vitality and power. I mean, there's really not much to say here. He's like a, a, a dude on a throne, because because he's an emperor, so like, yeah. To represent the master strategist, I chose a scorpion. While the emperor scorpion was the obvious choice, uh, my drawing is loosely based on the two-colored bark scorpion because they're known for their powerful venom, which is gonna be basically the rest of this video. In reality, scorpions generally employ several tactics and embody different strategies. Generally, big scorpions with powerful claws utilize their power and strength and rely less heavily on their venom, which only hurts, generally, about as much as a bee sting. The real powerful punchers are in the family Boothidae, fat-tailed scorpions and bark scorpions. Since their little claws are too physically small to subdue prey, they rely on their powerful venom, which can be medically significant to humans. Impressively, scorpions have a venom cocktail containing over 200 compounds. This is biologically expensive to make, so if the scorpion doesn't have to use it, he won't. Scorpions have a compound called a pre-venom that is relatively chemically simple that can overcome small prey and causes a lot of pain in humans and vertebrates as it specifically activates our pain receptors. Scorpions know when they don't have to use their heavy artillery and instead just use their pre-venom. How do the scorpions know when to use it or how do they selectively deploy their venom? Well, this still remains a mystery. Because the pre-venom specifically targets pain receptors, it's currently being studied a lot in how we understand pain and hopefully can help us understand how to manage pain better in patients. I leaned into the red here and the animated card, I also popped the Aries constellation, nodding back to the astrological sign associated with the emperor and the numerous ram's heads also typically depicted on the card. Also, I wanted to show off that scorpions glow under UV light, which I think is so cool and they're so beautiful. Why? Well, we're not really sure. We know that it's a protein in the exoskeleton that makes them glow, but we don't really know what its purpose is. Maybe it's to tell some predators that can see UV that the scorpions are venomous. Maybe it's a UV detector that lets the scorpion know that they're out and about and they shouldn't be and are taking environmental damage. The jury is still out on this one. I just think it's so cool and wanted to show it on the card. In the spirit of the scorpion, which uses precise risk assessment to safeguard resources and ensure success, how can you apply this disciplined thinking to an upcoming event in your life? Outline the event, identify potential risks, resources at stake, and three measured actions you will take to safeguard your goals.